In this video, I will demonstrate how to use text to make a clipping mask over a photo in Adobe Illustrator. Create a new document, letter is fine, and I know that my photo's orientation is landscape, but you can pick portrait or landscape to start. First, you will want to add a photo. So go to File, Place, and locate a photo from your computer. Click Place, and your photo will be loaded into your cursor. Click and drag out a bounding box on your artboard, and when you unclick, your photo will fill that box. It's a good idea to embed your photo into this file. So up in the control panel, if it doesn't automatically do it for you, click Embed. If it says Unembed, then it is already embedded. If your photo gets deleted from your computer, it will still be embedded into this Illustrator file. And there's no need to worry about cropping the image because the clipping mask is going to do it for you. In the toolbar, select the Type tool, and then just click anywhere on your artboard and add your text. Switch to your Selection tool, and since you just clicked and started typing instead of dragging out a text box, you can use this tool to resize your text, placing it on top of your photo. You can use the Character panel to format your text, such as making it all capital letters, adjusting the letting for less space between the letters, and changing the typeface to something that has a lot of width to it. Adjusting the opacity of your text to make it more transparent can help you with placement. For example, I want to get as much of the dog's faces within the text, and perhaps I will change the typeface one more time to ensure that coverage. You can double click into your text and retype as needed. And I'm going to go back to my selection tool and grab the sides of the text and squish these letters together on top of the dogs a little bit more. And then with your selection tool, click and drag a box over your text and your photo together. Go up to Object, and then Clipping Mask, and choose Make. And your text has made a clipping mask over your photo. You can still click into the text and make changes if needed. However, if you try to rescale at this point, it rescales the photo and text together. So you can see these dogs have been stretched out too much. So Command or Control Z to undo. Instead, you're going to want to go over to your layers and then select the layer with the photo by clicking on this circle, also known as a meatball. And now you can click on the bounding box and resize just the photo instead. Hold the Shift key on your keyboard to constrain the photo's original proportions as you resize it. You may still want to make major changes, so you can always go back up to Object, Clipping Mask, Release to separate the photo from the text. Here are a couple of other examples of using text to create a clipping mask over a photo, this time with a cup of coffee, and in this panoramic photo of Colorado Springs, which makes for a really fun clipping mask. But let's take this up a notch going back to the watchdogs photo. And now I'm going to choose areas of the dogs, such as their heads and tails, and make them pop out more three-dimensionally from the text. Choose the pen tool from the toolbar, and I'll zoom in and find a spot to begin clicking around to select part of your photo. Click along the outline to add anchor points with the pen tool, and if you click and drag, you can add handles that will allow you to move the cursor to round out that edge of the selection. If you add an anchor point incorrectly, you can hit the backspace or delete key on your keyboard to undo that anchor point, but if you do it too much, you might lose all the previous points. So Command or Control Z to bring them back. Click on the last anchor point, and then continue drawing around. And you can always come back and make adjustments later, so don't worry about not having these anchor points in the exact correct place. But you do need to make sure that it is a closed shape. So come back to the starting anchor point, and you will see a circle next to your cursor indicating that your path will be closed, and click. You don't have to worry about the gray space within the letters themselves, since they will show anyway. Use your Direct Selection tool to click on a single anchor point and its handles to make adjustments. You can also go back to the Pen tool, click and hold, and use the Add Anchor Point tool to add in anchor points. And conversely, you can use the Delete Anchor Point tool to delete them. 
I'll fast forward as I continue using the pen tool to outline the other dog's heads and then each of their tails, but I suggest you take your time with your selections. The more precise you are, the better the effect will be. Once you have finished, open up your layers panel and find your photograph. To make the next steps easier, turn off its visibility and lock that layer. Then select the layer with the text. Go up to Type and Create Outlines. Back up top, go to Object and Ungroup. I'll pull my Layers panel up so that you can see that all of the letters are now on their own separate layer. Next, you'll want to select all of the letters and your pen shapes. Then go up to Window and then Pathfinder. Or you might have Pathfinder in your Properties panel on the right. Click on this icon to unite the text outlines with your pen outlines. And it's okay if the fill color disappears. You can see in my layers panel that the text and shapes have been combined. With the text and shapes still selected, go up to Object, Compound Path, Make. Again, it's okay if it disappears when you click off of it. Back in your layers panel, turn on the visibility and unlock your photograph. With your selection tool, select both the photograph and the compounded text. Finally, go up to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And now you have your text and pen shapes masking your photograph to create this three-dimensional effect. If you're a stickler like me, you can use your artboard tool to crop your artboard to match your design, but you certainly don't have to. Lastly, save your work. Go up to File, Save As, and I will save my design in my Creative Cloud files in a folder for this class, naming it my first name, last initial, underscore, unit 03.3, text clipping mask. Clicking Save and OK. And that is how you use text to make a clipping mask over a photo with a 3D effect in Adobe Illustrator.